A gorgeous door inlaid with roses. There's a small keyhole in the center. The gardens are raging inside me. We have to keep the dream demons behind for their sake too. Beatrice, it will put an end to your twisted scheme no matter what. The self-warming sensation. The host must be through this door. I can sense the threat through this door. This must be the Castellata's chamber. Use the dream key to open the door. What lies beyond this door? The end of a nightmare or the end of reality? The darkness engulfing Beatrice extends before your eyes. Would you like to save your memories onto a memory card PS2 before you step through the door? Yes, I would. And so basically, uh, if you want to reload to the save, you can reload just before the final boss, which is neat. Also, the time, the, the time, I've got to say, I don't think is accurate. I don't think it's taken 17 hours to get here. I think it's more like... Well, considering we're at episode 47, I believe. I know, I'm wasting time. So, we're, so we're at episode 49 now, and each one's... The first few were about an hour long, then about half an hour long. So we've got to be at least at, like, 30 hours. So, I don't know, the time is weird, but whatever. Anyway. That's the saving done. <laughs> Continue playing. Nah, I'm good. No. Let's, let's get into it. Were you held up by the disasters? I was getting sick of waiting. The preparations are almost complete. This time for sure, I'll create my own Filgaia from people's memories. If you ever think you can create another Filgaia, just like that time when you used the Yggdrasil system, the Yggdrasil generator has been destroyed and you don't have enough energy to. Oh, but I do. I'm the one who ripped the Yggdrasil generator out from the system. And as for energy, I'll just blow up the Nightmare Castle and appropriate the energy generated from the blast. It really didn't matter to me whether you defeated the disasters or not. I just wanted the most powerful life form to offer in place of the Surge of Gaia, so that I can apply its energy to my creation. Everyone worked so hard for me. Starting with the construction of the Yggdrasil system which paved the way for my first attempt of creation. He defeated the boorish prophets who tried to expel the humans and also rid this world of Siegfried. Oh, and how can I forget? Lamium obeyed all my orders to excavate countless artifacts necessary for my creation. Even Lamium? Yeah, if you remember back, Lamium had visions where he was guided by the saint, who was a girl who guided him to found the Ark of Destiny. Much like Shane, the whole time he was being manipulated by Beatrice. As long as humans cling to even a little bit of hope, they can easily be taken advantage of. Lamenting over the dis decaying Filgaia, <laughs> I must have appeared as a saint to Lamium. People don't rely on or depend on others just because they're weak. It's because we strongly believe that we can accomplish something much greater if we support each other. It's a bond built upon trust and support. There's nothing lower than taking advantage of people's trust. You're so arrogant. I don't need to hear your lecture. Let me show you a deep sleep beyond your dreams. In this dream world, I am tangible. I am a tangible entity. Well, you can hurt me as you please. The opposite also holds true. I am capable of ripping you to shreds. Kick ass final boss music, man. <laughs> oh, I love it. And also, surprisingly, the dream demon can inflict sleep. 
Can I prepare against that? No, okay. That's fine. And that's why I bought all those healing items. That's a really cool design as well for Beatrice's demon form. Okay, fine. Clive takes a nap. This fight only lasts as long as uh, it takes to build up Jet's finest starts anyway, so... Noticing a pattern here. Now oh, you heal yourself. Mind. Magic resist down. <laughs> I only hit one of us though. Well, this form is over. Can you hear it? Phil Gaia is beating within me. The Cedar's planet sleeps inside my body. Yes, I shall soon become the mother of Filgaia. The Yggdrasil's generator is in its final activation phase inside the Ark of Destiny. All there is left to do now is to blow up this nightmare castle with you in it to generate the energy needed for creation. The birth cry of my new world can be heard at the Ark of Destiny. <laughs> Enough talk. This is it. I must put you and Lamium out of your misery. How does ten seconds to destruction sound? Will that be enough time for you to escape? I think not. This light signifies the birth of a new planet. Yeah, you want to use the Exodus Orb to get out of there. Because I don't think 10 seconds is enough. Shane! Come on, little brother, wake up! Brother, what's going on? Where am I? Why am I here? Are our memories being devoured? It appears so, but not all of it just yet. I mean, we still have time. It's up to us. Come on, let's go. The guy has gone deathly silent. People are still fine in town, it looks like though. They do I look gloomy too. Things are slowly starting to affect them though. God, I can't remember who I am or where I came from. You lose the will to carry on when you don't even know what kind of person you are. No flower can bloom if it's forgotten why it wanted to. If all life were to forget the meaning of life, then life itself has no future. Can't even access the garden anymore. I can't remember a thing. 
when did I start wearing this striped old-fashioned uniform anyway? How strange. I can't seem to laugh at all. It's like I've forgotten how. No, it's more like... Was anything ever funny? Gosh darn it. I forgot what I was going to say. Daddy, something's weird. I feel really sleepy even though it's the middle of the afternoon. Welcome home, honey. I won't ask what happened, but you need to be on your way, right? Don't worry. Caitlin will save here with me. I didn't have any burdens yesterday, so what have I got to lose? I'm just a happy-go-lucky guy. To lose your memories is to die slowly, just like the decaying planet. An emaciated mind and heart does not have the future, the strength to bring forth the future. You must be strong and light the way. Warner Maxwell's tombstone. Virginia's inscription is engraved on top. I'm glad I was able to see you again. With these new memories, I am able to fight. What have I lost on this barren wasteland? I know I've lost something, but I don't know what it is. This is driving me crazy. The path I have travelled, memories of my loved one, loved ones, they're all gone. It's as if I'm standing out in a wasteland all along. The sensation. Are we too late? If the usual generator has touched the Ark of Destiny that is creating the dream of demons of Lagaya, then yes. Let's hurry. The planet and Lamium are in danger. You don't have to turn around. All you have to do is look forward. Maya, what are you doing here? I found my next target. It's a monumental gem that sparkles a blue like none other. One day I will return this planet to its blue state and make it mine. I will decide to become the first president of the United Stars of Philgaia. Oh come on, Maya, that can be taken. That can be taken. That can be question. So what's your point? Are you going to do something about it as a defender of justice? We'll stop you. Fine. Then make sure you come back alive. I mean, you're the only ones that stand a chance against us. Thanks, Maya. <laughs> Plain no manners. And the presence of a future ruler here. My lady, this is a perfect opportunity to repay them for their honor. Yeah, I'm sure Sis thinks so too. Eh, she's too stubborn to admit it. Oh, be quiet. Put your skills where your mouth is. Schrodinger's. Prepare to go all out. Ugh. Lamium, why do you shield us? I, too, have finally seen the truth. I was deceived and used by the Dream Demon. Everything I have done, worked for, my ideology has been disgraced. Even so, I still have hope for the future. Lamium, come on, Lamium. Lamy will always be an ignorant man. If he didn't shield you, he would have lived on dreaming. The electrical field of the 25th dimension in the dream world of humans. In other worlds, a world of eternal darkness deep within your mind. That world is where I rule. It's easy to control reasoning. You don't understand a thing. Eternal darkness might exist deep down within people's hearts, but there may also be a small, there may be small, you'll find a sparkle of hope. Impossible. How did you escape the cage of darkness? Lamium, the man who was most worried and troubled about the future of this planet and its people, opened a path with his ray of hope. There's a very faint light that eventually disappeared, and I will do my best to honor his memory that lights the way to the future. So you to avenge his death or ignite the flames of hatred for all life on Philgaia? <laughs> Are you going to swallow me and destroy me inside this darkness that fills your heart? Oh, 
I will not let you become anyone's memory. Round two against Beatrice. This time, for real. This first phase I don't think is too difficult, it's just a repeat of the previous one. Every time I wake Clive up he goes back to a nap again. He's going to sleep through his final boss, I swear. <clears throat> you should heal yourself up. Luckily, though, it's not the end of the world if Cloud stays asleep, because... Y'all know, Jet's all we need. One thing I'm hoping is that all of the phases of the final boss all count as one fight. And there's no like end screen in between. Because that way I can keep Jet at zero ammo. And basically just feed him full carrots and then just immediately find his starts. That is my strategy for this final boss. <laughs> Let's see if it works, shall we? <laughs> I see. So you'll fight for all the live life living on Philgaia to protect your memories. That's fine with me. My Philgaia, born from the life on Philgaia, will eat you alive. I will become the mother of Philgaia. Darn it. Don't tell me this thing here is supposed to be her Philgaia. Is this some kind of joke? Yes, the Philgaia theory. How the world is a single life entity. It seems to be at its larval stage now, but it will grow and mature into a true threat. And we have to stop it now. It may be just another Philgaia, but, it, but its will is that of Beatrice. I'm sure it doesn't have a liking for us either. Let's do it! Nega Philgaia.
You get Phil Guy splits in two. Look at the final start strategy it will work here. Cause it is just one continuous battle now. Oh! Bugger. Core is exposed. What? I'm missing something here. Okay, so that's the strategy with this one. You kind of need to do the replay trick, I guess. Which I don't fully understand how it works.
So he attacks now but does nothing. And then it replay goes at the end. Okay. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Let's just do that again. This fight only has 5,000 health though, so that's not too bad. Yeah, so this 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 one is a test of... Uh, kind of a test of your arcana knowledge. <laughs> so I've never used that before. So these ones are tricky because when they are damaged by physical attacks, they heal themselves. And you want to use elements instead. Unfortunate for you. The trick with these is they change their elemental weakness. But it's fine, you can still use the stuff as well. Unfortunately, they are throwing things at me. They make it so I can't just abuse uh, abuse fine stats. <laughs> Which is probably for the best, really. If we analyze one, as since the Wakan is one group, we can get the weaknesses for all of them. And they each have about 5,000 health. Yeah, you can see all of them now. So that one's weak to wind. Water and light. You don't have any of those, so. Are you even weak to. Burn. No, but you resist it. Uh, one of them is weak to. You're weak to water. One of them is weak to earth. Yep. Yeah, each of these forms has. Unique strategies to them. Alright, we're down to the last one. Oh, that's two stuff. So. But yeah, basically, this one's not too difficult. It's just analyze one and then keep exploiting their weaknesses. And just don't physically attack them. This one, I'm just going to take one of them out immediately. I'll just do a bunch of damage to that last guy. Also, for this fight, I've uh, put status lock on uh, Jet, so he has um, uh, Valiant permanently now. Well, that's pretty good. Hmm. That wasn't as good. Let's reapply Valiant at least. Well, it would be a good strategy to apply a bunch of status effects on the first form when the fight's not that difficult. Okay, I see. We're just going to do it this way. Uh, put a bunch of buffs on the first form when the fight's not that difficult. Then status lock them all. So you have 
the status effects permanently throughout the entire fight, all ten phases. You know, that probably would be a smart thing to do. I never said I was smart though. If it somehow survives that, then we'll cast Valiant again. Okay, next form. Well, you all know how that goes. Uh, one thing I'm also going to do is Arcana Extension Reflect, just in case. Because this guy has a nasty attack that you can use, but if you Arcana uh, Extension Reflect, Hopefully I get it off in time. Crusher Joe! <laughs> that may be the third time in this entire game that the uh, counter-attack has gone off. No, we're not going to get to see his devastating attack. But basically, he does have an attack called Arcane Disaster, which is uh, apparently eight powerful Arcana attacks at once. He's also weak to every element, but when you use the element, it uh, gets rid of that weakness, so you can only use each one once. That's the strategy of this form. Anyway. Next form. <laughs> Luckily, I have enough full carrots to pretty much do this entire fight. <laughs> yeah, some of these fights are not as difficult as others. Now this is where things get a little bit tricky. So, this guy has the servants here that protect him. Uh, we also want to have dark elemental resistance. Which, yeah, not everyone has. Who do I have? We have a dark ring to give to someone. You know, it might have been worthwhile to, uh farm up some stuff, but like I said, I don't prepare. So Jet also has Dark Ward. Which is good to have. Gallows, you have it as well. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. He does not. Oh, but he does have Elemental Ward. Right. Four, that is expensive, man. Okay. There we go. 
We're all good. Oh, so the tr uh, the, this this fight is tricky. So when you try to shoot the main boss, the spirit servants step in the way and take the shot. The left servant is invulnerable to physical attacks, while the right is impervious to Arcana. And if both are destroyed, uh, Negafil Gaia revives them both at full HP. The strategy this uh, recommends is a little tricky. But they only have 2,000 health, okay. Uh, so the one on the left is invulnerable to physical. So, we'll try and take you out with Arcana. You out with physical. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's going to be enough. Definitely not, okay. Here's the dark elemental attack it can do. Since we're all immune, we're good. Okay. So actually, I'm going to cancel both of our both of our turns. We're going to cheese this to hail. It's a full carrot. Cancel and uh, what do I want to do in your turn? Team defend. Now have the one on the left which is immune to physical, so you want to use Arcana on it. So let's use this rare function. Gallows Virginia Jet Clive. Uh, uh, Virginia. Vortex. You get ready to do finer starts gattling on the boss. And you try and hopefully do enough damage to kill the boss. Not weak to any element, but only has two uh, 2,000 health, so... Okay, he's already done its turn. Oh, which is brilliant. Okay. That this should do it. This should do it if we can kill the boss. If we can kill the servant. If we do enough damage to kill the servant, this'll do it. Because we've gone after the enemy's turn, which means he won't revive the enemies this turn. Come on, Virginia. It's got like a hundred health left. Come on. Yes! And then Jet? Yes! Okay, okay. Okay, so this is basically the same as last fight, but uh, instead we want light elemental resistance, which I don't have, unfortunately. Yeah, we're just going to have to make do, I think. Let's put the points into something else? I don't know. Sure. You have Light Lord, which is honestly good, yeah. That is the person I would want to. You have it as well, okay, okay. So only Virginia's weak to it, really. Clive's already good. Okay, so with this one. Uh, the messengers are no longer invulnerable to certain attacks, but they now have ridiculously high defense. Okay, so let's try and just take out one of them. Mm 
Okay, here's the light element, what's that? Okay. So I'm gonna have you cast Holy on that. Because that does more damage, I realised. Okay. You heal up Virginia. And, once again... Put, it, put Clive for... It's the same strategy I used in uh, that other boss, I forget which one. But because you put Clive first, it doesn't make Clive go before the enemies. It makes all of your characters go after Clive. So since Clive goes at the end of the turn, we can make him do his action after the enemy has done theirs, which means they won't revive the enemies that turn. That's the strategy. I did mess up because Jet has no FP. Uh, bloody. Okay, okay, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Just delay your turn. to do the order again because it does reset each time. So Clive first, Gallows, Virginia, then Jet. Yep, just make sure I did it right. So then we send all our magic at the messenger. You do Gatling. Oh, and you can just defend it because I think that should be enough. Okay. If it's a nightmare you seek, then it's a nightmare you'll get, one that never ends, one you cannot wake from, rot in my endless nightmare. It's time for the final phase. Now this, this phase can be nasty. It'll throw a lot at you. So I'm gonna try and end it as quickly as possible. Even though the music is banging. Philgaia and I have been defeated, but your Philgaia will come to an end as well. My Philgaia and your Philgaia. Everything is composed of opposites, day and night, positive and negative. Everything is structured to cancel each other out. Just like my Philgaia in the dream world and your Philgaia, the connected world will also perish with my demise. 
they will eventually expel each other. Everything will come to an end. You, me, everything will be engulfed in nothingness. <laughs> Dad. Dad, where are we? This is the horizon. Everything has transformed into memories, and all the memories. The horizon? The interval between reality and the dream world, the horizon that separates two worlds, and the emulator zone, known as the information library Hyades. This is Hyades? A white world of nothingness. Did our Phil Guy end up like this? Just a void? Oh, so we weren't able to accomplish anything. Existence will one day cease to exist, and now that his existence is nothing but a mere memory to begin with. Existence is a form of memory passed down from history. We all fought so hard to protect everyone's memories. But I guess... Wait a minute. Memories. If a guy and all life there are a form of memory, then all we have to do is create memories again. Every one of us has to gather what memories we have to, towards the future. And this is the horizon where all the memories are gathered. Beatrice was able to create a fill guy from memories. And if I use this terminal to unify everyone's memories as once, then our fill guy may once again. And likewise, we use the Ujizel system's generator that was transformed into memories. It will take a miracle for this to succeed. It's an unlikely coincidence, but do you believe it will work? Coincidence is a part of fate. We're not just leaving this miracle to chance. My efforts and everyone else's will unify the Phil Guy that's in our heart of, to form. It's Phil Guy from our memories, so it might be a bit dusty, but we can all change that. Create a Phil Guy from memories. This is the same game plan as Dream Demon, but will it work? If, in, if it indeed is possible, Jet's memories will also be included. If we still have his memories of the former Phil Guy, then maybe, just maybe, the, the Phil Guy before will be... will be a black plant and a seed into the wasteland. It, I know it'll work, Daddy. I'm not alone. Plus, a miracle is a reward you get for giving it your best, or else the fruits of our efforts won't be worth a price. I hate auto-scrolling text. <sighs> is everyone alive? You're the one that was out cold now. The world. Is Phil Gaia still there? Yes, we all made it! Yes, we all made it back safely. Lamium, we'll bring forth Phil Gaia's future you wanted. What are you doing? What are you doing up there? Did you do this? Why did you kill the founder? No, wait, it's not what you think. You got it all wrong. Everyone here, the founder, the founder has been. Talk about bad timing. Oh, the worst. They're pretty green at fighting, though. No, we can't do that. We had no other choice. We showered with fire before. What's the difference now? Don't tell me we're committing suicide. No, nothing like that. We're not going to lay down our lives. Now how the hell do we get out of this pinch? You are the leader. If you have a way out, we'll follow your orders. The first hurdle I had to overcome after becoming a drifter was... The fact that my concept of what justice is doesn't always hold true in the wasteland. But still, an unwavering sense of justice lies within me. It compels me to hold true to my convictions. I won't let my feelings waver. I'm going to carry through. That's my definition of justice. we travelled the right path up until now, haven't we? We may have stumbled, but we did the right thing, right? Yeah, I think so. There's no way we would live slavishly. 
Then we won't need arms anymore. We'll just hold our heads high and run out. Really, they're just gonna try and kill us? They're not even good. Okay. Fine, fine, I'm in. I'm not, okay. I don't have enough memories yet. You are an unpredictable leader, just like a stone. Whether to believe in the stone can blow away all our problems is the question. A stone, huh? You said it. Reminds me of that storm out on the tree. But I never thought the stop would turn out like this. Got too fast. A coincidence is part of fate. But I'm really, really glad I met all of you. We had some rough times together. More than anything, it was fun. It was fun. Our memories together can't be brought by, uh, by treasure, right? <sighs> it's kind of weird that they're trying to kill us. They, like, we've helped them out so much. We're a step headed towards the future. We've helped them so much. And yet they're just going to think that we killed the founder for some reason? Our memories into the future. And that's it. That is the end of Wild Arms 3. <sighs> so yeah, like I said, uh, we're almost right at the start. This is one of my favourite RPGs of all time, and I hope that I managed to show off why. <laughs> it's, it's not perfect, you know, there is flaws along the way, but overall... The music is fire. Yeah, there is issues with the translation as well. But overall, I think the story is just really cool. It's really unique. And I, I love the theme of sci-fi western as well. Where it's like, it starts off being a pretty traditional western, which also is unique for a JRPG. But then you've got the demons, and then you've got the, the digital stuff with Hyades and, and all that. And the nano machines. <laughs> and then a dream demon. <laughs> it's wild. I love it. Uh, but yeah, once you uh, like one another thing I showed off here, which I is the first time I've ever done this in any of my playthroughs, is the finest art strategy, which uh, yeah, once you figure that out, it really just makes the rest of the boss fights incredibly easy. Because I remember, because yeah, again, that was a ten-phase final boss, which has got to be some sort of record, right? That took me a long time in my original playthroughs. Especially if you die halfway through, right? But this is probably the easiest I have ever done that boss. Because of finest arts. And also being a lot more vigilant with using all, the, all of the lucky cards I had. Because that really gives you enough experience to just be at a high enough level where you don't really have to worry too much. Yeah. It's sometimes when you're playing something when you're younger. Cause like the last time I played this through properly was like a decade ago. It's been a while, right? And there's always a fear when you go through games like that that when you revisit them when you're older, it's just nostalgia that made you like it. And then when you play through when you're older, you realise, oh, it's actually not that good. But this is one of those cases where. No, it is as good as I remember. <laughs> it's still good. It still holds up now as a really good JRPG, I think. Because overall, like, even graphically, the art style is beautiful. The music is phenomenal. The battle system is interesting, if a little exploitable. <laughs> The story is fascinating and unique.
And I also really like to get the, uh, the party members as well. But the interesting thing with my relationship with the Wild Arms series is that Wild Arms 3 is really the only one I know well. Because it's the one I've played the most. And in some cases it's the only one I've played. Because I've never done 4 and 5 properly yet, I've only done like the first couple of hours of those. Recent, like, and that was recently. Uh, Wild Arms 1 and 2 I've only gone through like once. There's Wild Arms Crossfire. Which is a tactics game, which I've played a little bit of, and it's pretty interesting. The drifter suspected of murdering the order leader. Manor injuries many. His key suspects to the crime their whereabouts are still unknown. Why does everyone think we did it? <gasps> It's Martina. <laughs> you guys are alive. <sighs> Whoa there. I love it when women make the first move. Why does trouble always seem to come from over there? Help me, please. Bad guys are chasing me. It's a shame, really. We're actually villains ourselves. Except we don't put up with thugs. No. Not you again. <laughs> you guys are... Maybe you haven't forgotten what about the great memories we had together. <laughs> I think this is an optional scene. Well, what now? Guess we should lay low, huh? The other one sticks out like a sore thumb. We should let everyone know that we're alright. What do you say we hit Humphrey's Peak first? Thank you. I would appreciate that. Flowers have started to bloom. Well, that's three the end. So yeah, I would like to, at some point, go through every single Wild Arms game for this. For this, for this series, I guess. Because, even though I, I say I love the series, Wild Arms 3 is the only one I know well. <laughs> but I love the vibes. Because all of them carry through this sort of sci-fi western hybrid fantasy theme, right? But each one of them is really different from the others. Because they all take place in completely different parts of the world. Completely different timelines in the world. It's complicated. So each one's completely different characters, completely different towns, completely different stories. And in some cases, completely different battle systems. Creating an EX file containing data from a cleared game. The EX file allows you to save cleared game as well as watch movie cutscenes. You cannot return to the game from an EX file. Creating a new file or overwriting a previous file is recommended. So we create our EX file there. And then we want to return to the title screen. So I'll show off the EX file before. Because this episode is already uh, an hour and 11 minutes. So might as well go a bit longer, right? I don't know how much the edit's going to be since there might be bits of the boss fight I cut out just because uh, it gets a bit tedious. When you boot into an EX, EX file, you get this screen. And I want to see a bottom there. We have two EX file keys. We have these four options up here. If you use one EX file to activate this command option. You need eight to unlock this, four to unlock that, and two to unlock that. So really, we can only get either the first or the last option. But I think I could reload the save and uh, show off both. So let's have a look at what we can unlock. So this lets us view our status. Is that all? Is that it? Yes, this just lets us view our status from the previous playthrough. Okay. Oh, it shows you at the top. Okay. So this one lets you watch an opening movie, which is uh, when you load a new save file, or when you load any save file, it plays a anime cutscene. 
uh, that, that changes slightly depending on which chapter you're in. And uh, there's other factors as well. Because I swear, there's, there's, a, there's a specific intro cut scene, I'm sure I remember, which was very different. But I don't remember seeing it this time around. So I still don't fully understand where all the intro cut scenes are, but... Yeah. This lets you see them. Maybe you can see others, I don't know. Maybe this shows you all of them, I don't know. Uh, what's the movie that plays when you exit the game? So when you save and it says, do you wish to continue? Yes, no. If you press no, it plays an exit cutscene, which really just runs through all of your stats. Gives you like a summary of everything, which is, yeah, yeah it's nice. And here is the interesting one though. New Game EX. This mode lets you replay the game with all the gala and level you beat the game at. So this is interesting. It does make the, uh, oh, pretty much everything, kind of a joke. The first time I did this, I got to the end at level 70-something. It's a little bit higher than now, but... And basically, you do one-shot every boss up until <laughs> pretty late in the game. If you're into that, it's it's good if you plan to do uh, super bosses. This lets you run through again and build up more experience experience and stuff but uh, like I've said before we're not here for that this is where I'm ending it